Coach, what impressed you the most about Gardner today? Uh, shoot, he was very efficient throwing the football, uh, made the right reads, um, got the ball out of his hands quick, and uh, was really efficient. Obviously, we had the one turnover there on that, uh, you know, it was a third and one situation. Defensive end made a great play. Um, but other than that, he had a good day. At the end there, did you just want to go live? That was it. I wanted to get the young guys in there live, just see where they're at, you know, physically. And then this game's a physical game, and wanted to get about seven, eight reps with the young guys and see where they were at. Hey, R, how's he progressing? Uh, he's been great. Um, you know, obviously he missed yesterday, but came back today and thought he had a solid day today. And that's what we got to do. We got to keep stacking the days with him. He threw one out of the back of the end zone in the red zone drill. You've just been coaching him on knowing when to force it and when to just take Yeah, it just up. be smart. I mean, you're down in there tight, right? Obviously, if it's not, you know, a got to have it situation, let's be smart and let's secure the points uh, in that situation. So, you know, defense did a good job of covering up and he threw it away. Sure, the running back teams, positions that got to take a lot of reps in camp. Obviously, you have a couple guys. How has that impacted you? How have you kind of compensated for it? Oh, it's been good. And, you know, Dondre Smith, our running back coach, has done a heck of a job with those guys, getting them prepared day in and day out in the meeting rooms and then transferred over the field. Um, but I like where the group's at. Uh, I thought they had a good day today. But obviously, we got stuff to improve on uh, everywhere. So. How much second the intensity has ramped up the last few days, especially night practice, really getting after it first day in full pads. How are guys responding to an increase in intensity? No, I thought it was good. You know, obviously this was the, you know, we had the shoulder pads on yesterday. Now we just put the thigh pads in today. Um, but really like the intensity of practice. And, you know, it just with anything, training camp gets harder and harder and harder. And, you know, how, how can we do hard better? You know, that's what I told the team at the end of practice is, you know, it's going to get hard and we got to do hard better. Richardson's accuracy wasn't, on point today. What was the biggest message to him after practice? Uh, I think he missed a few, but he was he had a, he, he made some really good throws. Um, just be consistent. You know, we got to look at the tape and clean up some things. But I thought he had a solid day. Shane, as you get into week two, will you continue to flip flop reps with the starters from those two guys? Or will you... We're still working through that, and we're just always going through that. And right now, that's where it's at. Zach's, Zach's injury is supposed to be like six weeks. That, yeah. Does that, does that mean like the opener is in play? Cause yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's about six, week, six yeah. weeks away, so yeah, we'll see where he's at. How are Juju Brands and Julian Blackman progressing? They're doing good. Uh, they're progressing well. Hopefully, they'll be out there sooner than later, but they're both doing, doing a good job with the rehab. So, how much do you learn about your quarterbacks, particularly when you're trying to kind of decide on a start? How much do you learn in camp versus the actual preseason game? Well, I think obviously, you know, you get some, you know, you get some joint practices, which we're going to have, which, you know, you kind of treat those like games. So that'll be good for the guys to get those reps uh, as well, you know, but obviously when you get into those preseason games, you get that real live action, you know, to see where they're at. Um, but, you know, the, I, I think you take both into account, um, but, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into the preseason games too as well. So everything's evaluated. How important do you think it is for this AR particularly kind of get different looks throughout this, this first week and a half. Like, yeah, there's, there's no there. question. Yeah, Gus is doing a good job with the defense, the third down stuff, giving us some different looks. And then, again, it'll be good to go against, you know, Chicago and Philly to get those different looks uh, because, you know, this league, it's a tough league. You know, defense is disguised really well. And so the much, the more he can see on a daily basis, different looks, it's going to help him. You signed the local yeah. talent from yeah. Clinton. Yeah. 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 What impressed you the most about him to get him on the roster? Well, he's got really good speed. We brought him into the local pro day, and then he was out at our vet mini camp, you know, in OTAs. And uh, I know he was a heck of a rusher at University of Indiana, and, and, uh, for Indy, yeah, and, and uh, you know, excited to have him. Excited to have him. Shane, it's been a week for JT on Puff. Any closer? Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to refrain from getting into that going forward. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You always can learn from your mistakes. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. You know, this is a tough league, and you're going to go through growing pains. You know, that's part of the part of the process, and uh, we'll get through those and 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 go from there. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you, guys.